everyone. Stream is starting. And I'm trying very hard to find the proper volume for the music. Try this. How's everyone doing today? Well, I guess I'll start by explaining what I'm intending to do today. So we have a number of different uh, Shaper Guardian maps here and Invitation to the which is the uh, invitation where you fight all four of them. And we're going to grind that out. Oh, I want to make sure it's witnessed, otherwise there's no point. We'll just jump right in. It'll take a little while to get through to the first invitation anyways, so might as well start. Ooh, that's a bit of lag. What's that about? Nope, don't like that. Ooh, smuggler's cash. So you're going to do the Hydra first. Oh, so for people aren't who aren't aware, I'll show my uh, Atlas password tree off really quick. I am heavily into uh, del all the Delirium stuff, all the Heist stuff, and just a little bit into bossing in or like little bits into like each boss so like higher chance for synthesized maps to drop uh additional chance for uh, witnessing to witness another boss chance for elder guardian shape regarding maps to drop chance for conqueror maps to drop and then a little bit with syrian Sarge. plus uh i have my support passives i have packed with energy Basically just makes uh, Nico into a mission that just purely buffs you if you don't use Sulfite, and I don't use Sulfite for anything. I have Huck accompanying me with a Zealotry aura, and whenever Einhar is here, I also have him, and he remains till the end of uh, the map. Okay, let's set up on this. With sextant, nice. Money. I just added Ghost Shroud to my build, and it's actually really nice. I'm not used to playing evasion characters, though. So. I don't usually have any use for Ghost Shroud, but today, today. I usually end up playing Templars or Armor Witches. Also, later on in the stream today, we are going to do a little bit of gambling. I have something kind of fun prepared for that. I'm going to be doing a double corruption on something. More later when we get towards that. You'll have to wait and see. Okay, got two. Mechanical Mayhem. Challenge was that. Oh 
complete 1,000 core league mechanic encounters. Wow. Hey, Ron. I didn't realize that clicking on a cell fight node counted as an encounter, but if that's the case, it's really easy. Yeah, I will take easy challenges if I can get cool. How are you today, Ron? Oh, Envoy. Big guy. Last hand. I get the last little bit of stuff out of that. I'm doing good. Always happy to stream. We're doing some Shaper Guardians in preparation for doing some uh, invitations, which are some of the harder boss fights in the game. Seeing as they, they tend to. Uh... Oh fuck. Um. Oh god, okay, so I have four map bosses now. Uh, Maven, because of my passives, has a skill called Up the Stakes, where she can add one to three map bosses to my map. Uh, she added Arakali, whoever the fuck that is, and the Champion of Frost. That was really rude. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, that's what got leveled up. Grab a gem quickly. Dump this scrap off. Yeah, so up the stakes just adds one to three map bosses if she decides she wants to do it. It's kind of rough. But, uh, I mean, it's nice because each one of those bosses... Uh, counts as a boss who can drop a Shaper Guardian map, an Elder Guardian map, a Conqueror map, and a Synthesis map. And also, they all have a, the chance to, uh, uh, the 10% chance to be uh, double extra witnessed. Oh, I just got something special from one of them. I think that's actually an Elder Guardian map. Let's get the last one. Oh. Now, this is why I like up the stakes, because it actually, like, gives you some really, really good stuff if you can complete it. Ow. Fuck. Wait, what? I I could swear the Hydra was at half health. How did... What? Okay. Well, I got an Eradicator map. And a Drox map. Oh, man. That's worth 40. And this is worth 30. And this is worth 10. No, this is worth 15. So that's 75 chaos from one map. And this is why I don't play Trial of the Ancestors, because I can do this. <laughs> See, how much... Okay, so the map's around 30. How much are the fragments, I wonder? Fragments are around 20. Okay. Ooh. Hi, Marinex. Let's go. I've actually made some changes to my build since uh, y'all last saw it. Even since... Uh, Today's video, I believe. Because today's video was uh, 
filmed over the weekend. I uh, showed off doing my uh, first formed invitation before I uh, upgraded my build. My build, I think, is now sitting at 11 million DPS. A consistent 11 million. Uh, once things drop below 50% and have act and punishment activates, I think it spikes to like 18. And then if I have find a smuggler's cache and have Huck for uh, zealotry aura, then I have another like 2 million. I've been mainly focusing on adding uh, survivability to my build, though, lately, just because, I mean, it doesn't matter how much damage you have if you can't do it before you die. Honestly, adding Ghost Shroud has really, really helped me. Uh, for those aren't, who aren't familiar with Ghost Shroud, uh, every few seconds you gain a, a Ghost Shroud charge. And when you're hit, whoa, my God! Holy shit! I don't know how much money that was. Let's just assume that's like fifty C. <laughs> that's like that's the most I've ever seen a mob drop before at once. <gasps> Museum, you say? Is that a putrid cloister? It is a putrid cloister. Twenty-eight. Wow, we have some really crazy good luck today. Okay, so going back to Go Ghost Shroud, uh, it eff effectively it slowly recharges over time. And if you, when you get hit, it removes a ghost shroud if you have a charge, and it recovers. Well, for me, it recovers about 450 energy shield. Uh, what's actually happening is you recover energy shield equal to 3% of your evasion rating at the time, uh, which ends up equaling about that. Um, my evasion rating is 12,788, so 3% of that, 12,788 times 0. Yes, 383 energy shield I get when a ghost goes away. And if I have my flasks up, then I tend to get closer to 500. Chimera. God damn it, stop upping the stakes! Oh no! Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one! No, no, not Marvail. Not Marvail. I hate Marvail. Okay. That's, that's okay. Okay, those were really squishy bosses at least. And apparently I must have hit the Chimera in that because the Chimera is gone. Oh my gosh. Okay, so technically that's not Mervale. That's a uh, that's something that looks kind of like Mervale, uh, with a laser. The laser does a stupid amount of damage. So, stacking. Oh, I moved. So the laser is like what I was super super worried about. But if you can keep moving, it's not too bad. Okay, second monster phase. And end of the monster phase, stacking. If I can stack my mines, I do more damage. Oh! I got a... K K Kilavo's leadership trigger? Uh, I don't remember what triggers it, but uh, on block I regain 5% of my... Uh, Life, mana, and energy shield. 
it's a spe it's specifically a tattoo that I have applied to my passive skill tree, one of the mechanics from uh from this league specifically. Fuck you, Camara. It is this tattoo right here. Loyalty tattoo with uh koala. I'll just call him koala. Okay, so when you block damage from a unique enemy, it's really useful. If you have a skill that blocks, like, and you don't need every single bit of attribute points you have, I would highly suggest you look into getting a, a single loyalty tattoo. Because, as far as I can tell, they're only, like, 1 EC a piece. And, okay, well, most of them. And, like, they... They're just generally like more useful than ten of a particular attribute, so I'd highly suggest looking into getting one of those. And also, as you might be able to tell, chaos resistance, chaos res, 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 res. I piled in as much chaos res as I could. Um, and I tanked my, uh, shield by, like, 200 points, but I brought my Chaos Resistance up to 47 from, like, negative 9, so that was pretty fucking useful. Let's see, how much is this stuff worth? Y'all can't see it, but I'm price checking. With a uh, price checking software. Okay, it's really. I think it's safe to say. 10, 15, no, maybe 17. There's a lot of money here. Let, let's just leave it at there's a lot of money here. Hide her away. Oh, I should make sure I'm in D&D &D mode, actually. I accidentally showed a little little teaser of uh, what I'm going to be doing later. Don't know if anyone saw that, though. I have two items sitting in my miscellaneous stash tab but I'm, that are the items I'm going to be gambling with. Now for the Phoenix, which is the hardest one for me. I don't know why. It just has, like, the exact wrong set of abilities for, like, to go against my build. That's an odd-looking glowing box. Or box. It's an odd-looking glowing barrel. That barrel out. What is this barrel here? Strange barrel. Just an ordinary barrel. Used to store sensible things, not swarms of things. Why do I feel like this is full of swarms of things? Yeah. And it's full of spiders. Of course it's full of spiders. It's rare to see a unique strong box though. That's pretty cool. I don't know what it drops. Hopefully something useful. I do kind of trivialize it though with with my build. I got amethyst flask, yay. <laughs> I pick up and craft most of the flasks, the chili flasks I find. I find them to be pretty, pretty worth the time. 
Though I'm also a crafter in general. Like, I craft uh, cluster jewels that I get from my delirium. And I craft flasks I find. When I get Drox helmets, I even try to craft uh, max power charge helmets, too. Hey, get back here. Okay, triple packed with energy now. That'll give me 3% extra max. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I'm not getting the full use out of that because my resistances are too low. I actually could have three more fire resistance and one more cold resistance. And one more lightning resistance because I have an extra plus one to lightning. Well, I'm, like, totally not using that right. I need to pick up a few more res somewhere. Though I think there's an all-res tattoo added with uh, Trial of the Ancestors. I believe there's... I, I believe it's a 4% all-res tattoo. Just You can just add it to small passives. So that would actually be perfect. I just need to give up 10, 10 attributes somewhere. Which is fine. I think I still have some intelligence I can give up that I can give up right now. I don't feel like most people are actually like taking the time to like learn how the tattoos work and use them. And that's unfortunate because they're actually really nice. It's like the one thing about the uh Trial of the Ancestors League that I really like. No, that's not true. I really like the omens as well. The omens, just all the currencies added by Trial of the Ancestors, I think are like the best part of the league. And then there's uh, football, if you want to play football. But I'm not really a play exile ball person. No, nope, die. Ooh, <laughs> that was really close. Ooh. Okay, also, the forearm, that's 125 chaos. Arnold Boots, I'll take I'm making hand over fist today, or money hand over fist today. <laughs> oh, I have two things that blind. That's going to be really good seeing as I'm immune to blind. It probably would be worth it for me to look into Metamorph, because I actually do have the stuff to take out a Metamorph really easy. Okay, and last Guardian. This is like one of my best money-making methods, is doing the uh, form invitations, or at least it was last league. I am, I've am i restarted doing it this league because my build is ba built for bossing. I really like bossing builds. I mean, I feel like Path is really good at making you feel like a badass. You play bossing builds. Also, oh, minion life cluster, nice. Oh, there's gonna be a delirious minotaur, nice. That's gonna be. Fun. See how many levels I can get on the delirium before I fight him.
But yeah, doing the formed, like doing the uh, the elder slash shaper guardians, or no, not the elder guardians. Doing the shaper guardians and the formed is actually like a really really effective way of making money. It's it's how I make a lot of my money. And I don't mind sharing that strategy with everyone because, to be honest, most people can't do it. It is, it requires you to be able to trivialize tier 16 maps. If you can trivialize tier 16 maps, you can do it. But otherwise, it's not you. I mean, it's, it's the bossing build. Uh, like one of the bossing builds. Uh, Mainstays is doing the invitations. I wonder if this build is going to be strong enough this league to run the simulacrum, because the best I got was uh, Wave 24, I believe, on the simulacrum last league. I really want to actually, like... I'd ideally like to beat at this league. Ow! Should have put down a portal. I don't know what you hit me with. Not doing it again. I have some decent crit reduction. That rarely happens. Mains. Usually wouldn't pick up lingering remains, but I have a friend who likes them, so I collect them for him. I just do not like doing the uh, Vault Temple maps. The Vault Pyramid maps? Whatever one they are. Whoa! Okay. Do I have reduced flash charges or something? Yes, that's what's wrong. Okay. I need to be more careful. Because, like, I'm expecting to be able to plow through things and then just be able to heal when I need to. It's possible I wasn't able to heal. Oops. That was my bad. Dropping things behind me. I can just click where I'm standing to drop things and then walk forward because I have a delay on my skills since you throw the mine and then the spell casts. Okay, now that I have five tiers of delirium, things are starting to get kind of rough on me. Wish I had some flash charge regeneration. Don't have anything for that. Is 
This is not the boss that I expect to get stonewalled by. Though I guess to be fair, I'm not getting stonewalled by the boss, I'm getting stonewalled by the map. No! Everything walk over to me. If that's not there. Playing the super careful. Oh god! I was playing the super careful. Mm -hmm. My bottle faith just triggered. I don't know if I like bottle faith that triggers on uh, on life flask use. That's what I've been doing because I can't do it like trigger on hit because of a mind build. So I've been trying to find like a happy medium. If any of y'all have any ideas, I am open to suggestion, but... I do have that or use when flash charges full. But like that's completely random. At least I have some control over it with uh this, but I don't know why my loot filter gets so excited on like unique contracts, because they're not worth anything. Like breaking the unbreakable is really, really cheap. <laughs> And also, really easy. Is that Delirious map? Additional shrines, that's not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Okay, let's just sit in the bottle faith for a moment. We can come over here. Oh, things have started to get really tanky now that I'm have I'm six layers of delirium in. Ooh. Man. For all of these. Get some extra kills in. Okay. And now let me get my seventh level from the bo oh, fuck. Okay, no. No, I'm gonna clear this out first before this becomes a problem for me, because ow. Because if the Maven decides to up the stakes, then I'm gonna be so fucked if I can't take care of that. Don't like this. Like this. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> That's so not fair. Let me just give my life flask a second. Oh, hi, Maestro. Maestro? Maestro. Hi, Maestro-chan. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? I am good, except for the fact that the Minotaur's boss room is flooded with delirious mobs. <laughs> I am doing wonderful. I'm always doing good on stream days. Streaming makes me happy. 
Oh, and I stepped on more. Right. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. Ah. Uh. Uh, well, I would like to. Uh. <laughs> I would definitely like to. But uh, I'm having a bit of a day, apparently. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't really want to bring out the big guns, but Omen of Revenge. Consumed when you die to, t to make each nearby me enemy permanently take 25% more damage. If I can just get to the fucking Minotaur, I can kill him! Wow! Holy shit! Okay. Well, this map actually might be a write-off. I hope not. Holy shit. You know what? Hi, Minotaur. I'm now gonna run in circles. I can. Going. Fight the Minotaur in the process! No! No! <laughs> wow. Poor Huck! <laughs> this is not cool! <laughs> oh. That's totally fair, Maestro. How, uh, and how? What, uh, what type of build do you have? Out of curiosity. Oh, I guess I'll have to use one of these Minotaur. That's important. Uh, I guess I'll put there or something. <laughs> oh, you just started playing... You, as in, you just started playing this league now? Or you've just started playing the game, this league. I'm afraid of taking the delirium this time. <laughs> uh, okay. I forget, what does EK stand for? I'm I'm just thinking right now. I'm trying to remember ethereal knives. Yeah, those big build items are always hard. For me, I'm I'm saving up for uh, a uh, forbidden flesh and flame for opportunistic, uh, which is like twenty div each or something stupid. So that's fair.
Aw, oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to our community. We stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays around this time. And I feel bad walking past the delirium, but I also don't want that to happen again. What just happened? <laughs> I feel like I can't do Delirium and have up the stakes going at the same time. Not that that's what killed me, but still. Wow, oh, we're already here. Okay, yeah, you focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, focus on me, cool. Metamore. Darn burning ground. I'm on the, uh, life passive right now, not the uh, burning ground passives. That might... That's probably worth something. Oh, it's not so much. Real quick. Honestly, I just wish the entire enchantment system would be revamped. Like, I, I, don't, I don't really like the Labyrinth. I don't think it fits with the current game. Like, maybe it was good when it was added. But, yeah, no, I don't like the lab either. I'm sure it was quite cool when they made it, but as far as I'm concerned, they need to do something to it. I don't know what, but they need to do something to it. What I'd really like to see is if they could somehow bundle it in with, like, Einhar or one of the other existing mechanics, like the Labyrinth enchantment specifically. Uh, imagine having beasts that could apply a labyrinth enchantment to like a specific item type. That'd be cool. I do appreciate at least that you can buy things with labyrinth enchantments, but eh. Yeah, I, I feel like Einhar is not nearly used to his potential. Because, like, most of the uh, beast crafts that we have are more or less useless. Like, oh, you can get four chromatic orbs. Yeah, or I could just play literally any map. Like, he needs to be revamped as well. Like, I really like his gameplay. They just need to change the rewards, I think. I'm just going to do this till I get to tier 5, and then I'll go back to the work invitations. Yeah, like the whole getting ascensions thing, uh, like, I, I don't like the lab. I don't feel like 
it doesn't feel like enjoyable gameplay to me. Like, I won't run the... Like, if I need an enchantment, I will spend the money to buy it. I will not... I will not go run the lab for it, ever. Like, this... I just don't... I just don't want it. It's not fun to me. I think one of the parts about that, like, really, really bugs me is just having having to start over completely, like, you have one life, and you have to do the entire thing again, just seems really stupid. Like, even, even like, an uber boss fight, you at least get six portals. Why does that have to be harder as far as deaths go, as far as lives go? Like, I don't... I don't see why something that everyone has to do should be that much harder. Oh, these ethereal knives. Okay. I'll be honest, I forgot that this spell existed. <laughs> Are you just looking for ethereal knife damage? Or like extra projectile or something? Uh, do you use any curses? Or hexes? Like any hexes or uh, marks? Because if you do, you can often, okay, you can often get, um, like, increased effect on your marks or on your uh, curses via Helmet Enchantment as well. And sometimes that is, okay, sometimes that enchantment is e equivalent to or even better than getting a damage enchantment on your, like, for your main skill. So that's sometimes worth it if uh, you're having trouble getting, like, the main skill. Something that I kind of like with, uh, with the mark specifically is... Yeah, you would be surprised at how much something can be worth. Flat damage is, only, is good for some skills, but not all skills. So it might be way better as far for as much as I know. I'm just saying it's worth it's worth comparing in like a uh, in a third party app like Path of Building to see which one would be better for you. Okay, imitation. Okay, can I kill the Hydra first? Where'd you go? There you are. Die, 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 die. Thank you. Okay, Chimera, I don't care. Minotaur is only dangerous if he can hit you with uh, his uh, his underground thing, I find. So, ah, oh, God, the Phoenix. The Phoenix is what always gets me. It got me in, in the video that I did of my first formed, and it got me again here. <laughs> okay. Backing away, so he explodes. Oh, I should get away, because, yep, okay. Thankfully, the Minotaur was not targeting me there. I don't know where is the Minotaur. There he is. These are the Chimeras down. Okay, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Chimeras underground. Down Phoenix. 
Slam. He's probably underground now. Yep, there he is. I'm out of life lens charges. Like this. Hello. There you are. No. Don't even fucking think it. Underground. Drop there. Problem is, the arena is being covered in falling rocks now. Where are you? There you are. Falling rocks are really dangerous. There. Slam down. And dead. Ah, nope! Hey! Hey! Fuck off. Okay. Good, I have an extra Maze of the Minotaur. I need that. Oh, five Crescent Splinters. Those are 30 apiece. That's 150 Chaos. That recoups my invitation cost. Anyways, going back to it, I hope you do get a chance to uh, get the helmet enchantment you need. It really sucks when you can't get it because people are all offline. Wouldn't be a problem if they had a fucking auction house. Maybe you can guess which category I'm in for that. Wormp wormp. Reroll. That's fine. Go animal. Rags. What is cheap? I can add some tormented spirits too. Why not? Oh god, do I want a possessed boss? Hmm. That might possess the Hydra. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? In before imminent death. Okay, let's see how this goes. So I guess the problem really wasn't the delirium before, it was the delirium on top of the lack of flash charges, because when I have flash charges, I'm usually fine with delirium. At least some of this doesn't have that. No, I'm good. It just has monsters from beyond, which can be dangerous, but not if I'm expecting them. I just have to tack the same spot a little bit longer. To kill off the things that spawn right after. Yeah. Snipe some stuff. Speaking of sniping some stuff, I really kind of would like to try the snipe uh, skill. I've never used it before, and it seems kind of fun.
all of you die over there, please. Thanks. No. Leave my cute body alone. Hopefully five layers of delirium will not be a problem fighting the Hydra. Though I'm definitely going to be there by that point. Especially with all the extra stuff from the uh, Beyond Demons. I really love Firestorm Mines. It's so, so good. I don't know if you were around when I was talking about it, but I've actually... Uh, once I hit 96, I will be able to ensure 11 million DPS at, like, constant. That doesn't include my flasks. That doesn't include uh, my Punishment Curse, which activates at uh, them being at 50% life. And it doesn't include the... Uh, Pain attunement, which I have and use when I get to low life, because none of those are reliable. What the fuck is that? Archangel of Death? Archangel of Death? I've, I don't, I don't recognize this boss at all. This must be a Beyond boss. Ow! And it's strong, too. Oh, that's really cool looking, though. It looks kind of like Diablo from Diablo 3. Oh, that's awesome. I will say just just in case you aren't to make sure that you're using the uh, community version of the pa of path of building and not the uh, uh, older version, because the community version is like a lot more up to date. Into armor scrap, cool. That was a fun fight. It's pro that's probably the community. Just so you know, uh, as part of my Patreon, and yes, this is shameless uh, promotion, as part of my Patreon, I, uh, for the third tier, I will sit down with people and, like, help make your, like, make your build better as best I can. So if you do want someone to sit down with you to do Path of Building stuff, uh, that's the uh, $20 tier on the Patreon. I know one of my other uh uh one of my other followers I managed to uh I think triple his DPS. Oh it's okay. That's fair. Yeah, no, I mean <laughs> it is kind of a uh very luxury thing now, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, no no. Don't don't spend money you don't have or anything like that. Totally. It is just a game after all.
But if you do have any questions about, like, the game or, like, anything you're wondering about, like, about making your build better, you can just also ask me on stream, and I will tell you, like, I love answering stuff like that, because build crafting is, like, one of my favorite parts of this game. That's fair. The stash stuff is pretty expensive! Kosis. Kosis. Ow. I thought I was far enough away. I was not far enough away. As you can see by my stash, I have the currency tab, the unique tab, the frag tab, the map tab, the div tab, the gem tab, the oil tab, etc. So, don't uh, so I get it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it is so stupid expensive buying all that shit even when it's on sale. So, I totally feel that. Oh, don't bother with Metamorph. The Metamorph and the Metamorph Delirium Yeah, Metamorph and Delirium tabs, I would say don't buy. They're not worth it, in my opinion. Unless like you really, really like those leagues and like really want to organize your stuff specially. Uh the Blight tab, I wouldn't suggest either. Uh the only benefit of that is that you can anoint in the tab and not just at Cassia herself, but like if you're fine walking over to Cassia, then like you don't need that either, so like none of those three tabs are worth it. That's fair. I will say it is really nice having the uh, Blight tab, uh, because like you can upgrade uh, oils without putting them in an inventory, uh, like or an and in a uh, inventory, a uh merchant sell tab thing, but yeah. I really like the essence tab. It's totally not it's totally not needed. Like essences are generally well more or less completely worthless. And like I I generally wouldn't pick them up, but I love the essence tab, so I like having like the rainbow of all the essences shown, and like that's really aesthetically nice. The only tabs I would say like are even like the tabs I'd say that are like are most important would probably be the currency, unique, and map tabs. Those ones store some of the the most stuff. Because you can literally store thousands of maps, out like hundreds if not thousands of stacks of currency, well over a thousand uniques. Those are all very nice. What do you think? Are there any other tabs that you'd be like, yeah, you definitely need those? Oh no. Oh no. Don't up the stakes. Don't up the stakes. Don't up the stakes. Why is Malagaro here? Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Malagaro's here. If she only spawned one boss, that's not too bad. I can deal with that. Malagaro should be fairly easy to bike down. I just have to do with the Hydra at the same time is the problem. Thankfully, Malagro is also really slow, so if I at least am, like, careful enough to avoid him, I'm fine, but... If he gets me with that, I'm instantly dead. Okay. I got him first, thankfully. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh my god, the stupid Hydra's still at full health. 
Okay, well, at least everything else is cleared out. I can focus now. Uh, how many how many spirits is that thing possessed by right now? Just one. Okay, that's good. Not as bad as it could be. God, is he tanky, though. I kind of wish I didn't have, like, the infinite delirium tab. Or tab. Infinite delirium uh, keystone on my, uh, on my atlas. Because I would totally cancel the delirium before doing this otherwise. Because this is ass. Where'd you go? Hey. 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 There you are. Nope, I hear things. I hear things trying to explode on me. No. No. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Boy, the shaper. Rude. Rude. Stack, 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 stack. Oh, for a second I thought I died there. Oh, he's almost in culling range. He's almost in culling range. He's almost in culling range. Cull, 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 cull. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was so much harder than it needed to be. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, need to drink water. How much did I invest in my build, you mean? Or something else? <sighs> or do you mean the map? Uh, it's 125 per formed. And the maps tend to be about 10 each, so about 165. But I find that at least two of the Guardians will drop another Guardian map. So you can take that down to about 20. And you probably get a new formed invitation once every, like, two or three rotations anyways. Or even just from doing the invitation yourself. So, like... It's hard to say, like, you are definitely making a large profit. But, like, if you purely have to buy everything else, 165, roughly. Let's say 170 to uh, be safe. Chaos, I should say. <laughs> 48! <gasps> Oh no, I I would not be happy after doing that. That's for sure. My gosh. Oh yeah, three hundred. That's that's yeah. I assume that was like one of the meta builds. Would have to be. Yeah, that makes sense. The uh, profit on that was probably really nice. Oh yeah, Frostblades, okay. Didn't realize Frostblades could go up that high. If I could make 10 million DPS, I'm happy. I don't... I, I should, should specify, I don't use meta builds. Like... If I use a meta build, it's because I have made it myself. 
I don't use anyone else's builds ever because I like to build craft. It's like my favorite part of this game. Arguably even more than the actual gameplay. So I it would kind of defeat the purpose of the game for me, but that's fair. I will say, if it helps, that over time, the more DPS you have, the easier it is to increase your DPS. Like, going from 1 million to 2 million is way harder than it is to go from 4 million to 6 million, I find. So, if you, if you can stack it up past 1 million, like, you will start to accelerate. If that helps the, uh, helps your morale at all. Not bad. I mean, you you said you're pretty new to the game, right? Like, it took me. I've put over four thousand hours into this game to be able to make a build that can reliably do eleven million. Yes. So, honestly, yeah, no, I even a build that's half a million. I think that's really good if you made it. I think you did a really good job. That's awesome. Like, this is not an easy game. Like, no matter what anyone says, this game is very hard, it is unforgiving, and it does not explain itself. So, being able to make a build that can even function in maps when you're starting out is, like, such a good achievement. Good on you. You will get there eventually. It just takes time and practice. Those little tricks you learn, and those little tricks will help you a lot. Okay, I gotta triple up the stakes. Ooh, you know what? I don't care who. I'm just gonna kill them. Oh, that has the silo boss. That boss. Oh, they're all dead. When I was referencing how long you played, I meant, like, how long since you started playing the game the very first time, not, like, when you started the league. There tend to be a lot of really weird things in this game that can increase your DPS. Honestly, just being able to pick the right gems through Path of Building can be a big deal. Mm -hmm. I will say, just, just a note about Ethereal Knives is that is one of the low-level skill gems. So it will be harder to potentially make that into a better build than it will be some of the higher-level ones. Some gems just do not have the staying power, unfortunately. Oh yeah, SRS is the the top of the leaderboards. Every time you see SRS in someone's username, it's because it's summon raging spirit. Dragon Fang. Not familiar. Let's come area down. Is that like a rare item? Oh, the Dragon Fang amulet.
Ah. Oh. Wow, I have not I've not seen this this gem before. That's cool. So do you have plus three to gem levels from that then for your ethereal knives? Cool, that's badass. If I were to guess, it's probably one of the skills that benefits from that. From uh, gem level. Some definitely benefit more than. Yeah, anything that, like, the deals flat damage usually benefit from uh, gem levels. Like, uh, my Firestorm here. I have a level 25 Firestorm because I have a level 21 gem and I have a double corruption on my chest plate to give plus two to duration and plus two to AoE gems. And this scales well. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Spell. curious actually nah you can't put barrage on it because I was thinking that like barrage would be kind of cool on that physical spell though it makes me wonder if you would be good with a couple cold iron points Because, like, if you had a couple cold iron points, you'd be able to have a level 31 gem. Assuming that you aren't getting any gem levels from your weapons themselves. Dusk Dawn. Is that the one I think it is? Oh. It's unfortunate, because you don't... Do you have anything that converts to elemental damage? Because you are missing out on that if you don't, since this is pure physical by default. This this is just my advice. You don't have to take it. But I would highly suggest swapping that for two cold iron points in Path of Building and just see what it does. Assuming you don't have too many staff masteries. Because that might work better if it scales as hard with gem levels as I'm thinking it might. Just a thought, though. Oh god, Delirious the Phoenix. Well, this is going to be something. Oh! Oh, hold on one second. So, your chest plate... Oh, because your chest plate will be a 5 link then? Oh, because, yeah, you'd have your you'd have your gem and your weapon. Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot. Gosh.
Hmm. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. Thinking. Okay. Here, I have a bad idea for you. How about... Uh, would that even be possible? Okay, I think that's possible. Uh, in one hand, you have a rune dagger. And the rune dagger is like an influenced one, like a shaper one. It has uh, supported by and then three separate gems. And then... On your offhand, you have a cold iron point. <laughs> and then you have a six link. Or if you want to try something really crazy, try putting a um try putting it in a replica bitter dream. I don't think you'd be able to use uh I don't think you'd be able to use a dagger then, but... Replica Bitter Dream is pretty cool, because it has, it has five gems on it itself, plus your, your main gem and then two other supports you can add. So, it does effect, it effectively gives you a seven or eight link or something. But that is mainly for... Elemental damage. I don't know how much conversion it has. Then you'd really need like hard, hard convert as much as you could. <laughs> That's fair though. If if you're following a major build guide, it's probably gonna be better than my uh, random thoughts, anyways. Just because they probably actually sat down and looked at the build. No, not innocence! Oh, no, 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 oh, with the vision of justice. No, not her. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Why do I use up the stakes? I really... I need to stop using up the stakes, because it just sucks. <laughs> okay. The Red Nightmare shouldn't be too bad, since it's from Zoth. The only problem is that you need to... Okay. Hold on. I need to actually go into focus mode for a second, or I'm just going to die repeatedly. Holy shit! Okay, this is becoming stupid. There's just too much shit going on. Okay, I'm going to wait for a second. Just let anything, any damage fields that are in the arena clear out. I don't care if things regen. Okay. Take out the phoenixes. Take out the vision of justice first, because that is the most dangerous part. Because of that! Oh, the laser is the most dangerous thing that makes the vision of justice awful in, uh... Not Orchard. Uh, whatever the other one is, like Orchard. It's why I hate Vision of Justice specifically. I don't like fighting it on its own, nonetheless, with the stupid Phoenix! <laughs> oh no! Ow!
I, I, I liked my face, and now my face has been exploded. Ow. <laughs> Why do you torment me like this game? Okay, let's try this again. Apps. Another phoenix. Okay, as much as much as it's funny, I can't. <laughs> I'm turning off up the stakes for a little bit. It's just it's just too much for me right now. <laughs> Maybe when my when I'm full build, it'll be different. But right now, it's a bit rough. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do. I have an idea. I'm gonna look up the tattoos really quick. Look up the tattoos, and I'm gonna find that one all res tattoo, and I'm gonna buy one. Because if I can get just that, it will make me a lot more powerful straight up. Because then I can better use the um the uh what's it called packed with energy. There it is, honor tattoo of the sky. Mode. Grab one of these, and life will be a bit easier. Actually, you know what? This is a great time to take a short break. I'm going to go for five minutes. We can all have our bathroom break, water break, stretch, etc. And then I'll be back with more content. Here be.
Welcome back, everyone. Oh, people want my stuff. Okay, I'll I'll sell this and then I'll go back into D and D mode. Okay, get back to things. So I got an honored tattoo of this guy, which is plus three percent to all element of resistances. And I'm going to put it right here. To bring my resistances up to 79, 81, and 82, which is really important, because you get 1% max res per sulfite node, and I mean, so you get three. So that'll bring me up to... Um, so I'll have three extra fire res, two extra cold res, and one extra lightning res. Um, maximum. That I, I just wasn't able to use before. Oh, I don't need this. This will be a bit better now. Okay. Fast Phoenix run. Let's go. Probably going to finish this rotation here, do the invitation, and then we are going to do the gambling that I mentioned at the start of the screen. I have something that I want to gamble on, and y'all are going to come along for the ride because it is a very expensive item. <laughs> and it will be very awesome if I succeed at the gamble, and it will suck if I fail. I'm going to be risking, I think, three or four div for the chance of getting something like 13. Okay, packed with energy and huck. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited because I've been working on it for a little while. If I uh, if I successfully do it, it will double the value of my bank. And I have a fair bit of money right now, so that's saying something. Okay, here we go. No. Oh my gosh. I don't totally know how I killed him there. We have to watch that one back. <laughs> I guess just all of I guess just all of the mines I threw just happened to fall on him before he moved. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. No. Well, eh, eh, eh. Okay. Oh my gosh, the stranger's so fucked up. I love him, but he's really fucked up. Exile. Everyone you've slain. They had a family. Loved ones. How can you not feel? No, they didn't. They're abyss monsters.
Thought it'd be bad if they had a family. Always end the bloodline. As Queen of Fables would say. Don't know who, who else watches Harley Quinn, but very good show. I'm currently rewatching it. I watched the first two, I think, the first time, and the third wasn't out yet. So I am avoiding killing some stuff right now. I'm not, like, I'm leaving stuff in, in behind. And that's kind of intentional. Just because I don't want... I don't want a stupid tanky minotaur becoming a bit uh, gun-shy now after losing to a few guardians. Incidents. Ah, uh, level one laboratory. Level one engineering, I should say. Not a man. I do not feel bad about turning off up the stakes, though. I really like it, because, like, it's if you can do it, it's such good money. But I just... I just can't right now. I'm just not strong enough to take on four map bosses at once. And, like, the Vision of Justice, if I had enough damage, I could have wiped her out, like, immediately. And if I'd done that, I would have been fine. But, like... I don't have the damage to do that yet, or at least not the survivability to allow me to do the damage yet. A lot less shit. No, there's not a lot less shit. There is just as much shit. No, I don't like this. There is a lot of shit following me. Holy shit. like unholy shit. There's nothing holy about these monsters. <laughs> no! Don't you dare pop up underneath me! Fuck. Ground. Ow. Fuck. Okay, next time I'm not doing fucking delirium. I love delirium, but I just am not strong enough, apparently, to deal with six layers of delirium on top of this. Okay, big risk here, but... <laughs> no! Fuck! Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you little shits. Need to die now. I don't even know what that was. 
GDG, please give us a death recap screen. I'm begging you. Oh, I was standing in a uh, in falling rocks. That's what happened. Okay, all of you go away. Where's oh god? Where's the Minotaur? She said. Everything will be fine. She said. No. No. No, he's underground. Fuck you. Right there. Okay. Okay. Risk. Ow. Bad risk. I'm not used to using the Fall of Righteous Fire. I never use it. Like on any of my characters. Like it can add damage, but it's such a big risk. Stack, 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 stack. Holy shit, the damage reduction from the Delirium is just making him into a monster. Stack, 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 stack. No, don't you fucking dare. No. Him coming out of the ground is probably the most damaging ability he has. No. I'm out of portals, aren't I? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. Put some crap away. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna run to the Minotaur, and I'm going to kill him. <laughs> and I do so much better off stream, I swear. So I guess there is a difference when you're trying to make content. Not trying to make content, so that makes sense. Oh, well, at least it's exciting. Like? Yeah, let's not be in that pile of crap. How about that? <laughs> Nope. Big boom. Ooh, Legion Scarab. I think Legion is the most valuable of all the Scarabs now. It used to be Sulfite, but Sulfite's really dropped off in popularity. Yeah, Sulfite Scarabs, I mean. I don't know how Delve itself is doing. I don't really Delve. I don't want a garden right now. Actually, wait, hold on. I need to check. Make sure there's no, like, legendary seed. Oh my god, there's an Ursi! <laughs> there's a fucking Ursi here! I've only seen one 
one legendary seed in the in the last two leagues. Oh my god. Yeah, this is why you always check your your fucking gardens. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm gonna kill the Ursi first because He's way more valuable than the Minotaur is. Okay, Ursi, Mother of Thorns. Prayers, and there's Ursi. E invulnerable? Can't tell. I have not fought her enough to even know what her abilities are. Okay, so I guess this is a minion stage. Is she vulnerable? Yep. Ow. Hurt. Oh! <gasps> a sacred bloom? Oh, a sacred bloom! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh, these are worth 1.2 div. And what the hell? Where is Girdle? Nearby enemies are crushed while you've at least 25 rate. Oh, that's cool. That's... Oh my gosh, that's from... I can add that to my collection. Yeah, no, that was stupid lucky. That was ridiculous. To get an Ursi and to get a Sacred Bloom from her is just... Oh my gosh, I cannot express how rare that is. Like, I've killed Ursi before and I didn't get a Sacred Bloom that time! <laughs> See, the Minotaur isn't that dangerous when I can just fight him. But when I have all that other shit following me... No, it's really off, just awful. Oh my god, I got a formed. Okay, which I expected, but I also got a synthesized map. So that's 155, 170 chaos worth from killing that boss. This map gave me about 2 div. Wow. Well, I guess one of the next videos on the channel is going to be the Sacred Bloom. Or Blossom. Sacred Blossom? No. Oh you, like, add quality to these? No. Yeah. Oh, it has its own little spot in the fragment tab. Cute. Yeah. All this crap away. Okay. Now. I'm now actually kind of scared to do this, because, like, I hope that... I don't know for sure if the guardians that get possessed in the maps stay possessed for the invitation. Uh, you know what? Just just in case, I'm going to take an Omen of Revenge. So, if I die, it will at least have a benefit. Okay, where is everyone? Hydra. Minichar. Chimera, and Phoenix. Okay, Hydra is coming out first. Yeah, no, fuck off. I'm dying. No. Don't want you, Chimera. You're not the one I'm looking for. Or who I'm looking for. Okay, Hydra's down. Who's next? Oh my gosh, every time I hear her say, time to up the stakes, I, like, get, ch like, my stomach, like, sinks. Because I'm I'm used to, like, the, <laughs> I'm used to the, the scale now. Okay, so, if I can just keep an eye on the Minotaur, I'm fine. And I can focus on the Phoenix. The Phoenix is more dangerous, I say, while I get killed by one of the Minotaur's falling rocks. 
Well, on the bright side, the Omen of Revenge just activated, so... That's... <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a lot more damage now! Okay, ground. Out. I made it! Oh, and a, oh, 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 ah, what the fuck? Go away! <laughs> oh, a Veritania, four crescent splinters, map, an awakened cold penetration gem. What are these worth? Ten chaos. Okay, no, that's fair. Can I incubate it? My life tap is almost done. Okay. I'll start leveling that. It'll be my queen. Okay. It is just about time. What everyone has been waiting for. Who is ready for some gambling? I have a Divergent level 20, quality 20 spark gem right here. These start at 2 div. I have an Etziri with a Do Doriani's Institute with a Lapidary Lens, which can double corrupt the gem. If this becomes a, 20, a Vol Divergent spark at level 21... I think it jumps to like 16 div or something crazy. Let me just bring up the uh, the info on that. Okay, so a 2020, yeah, is two div. A 2120 is 14 div. And a 21.23 is 20 div. Starting price. So. Who wants to gamble? Okay. I am going to make a short little poll just because I want to see what y'all think is going to happen. Okay, and I'm going to create that poll. I usually have some lurkers watching. Here's the straw poll. You can vote on what you think the gem's going to become. The options are a 21-23 at, like, its absolute best, a 21-20, a 20-20, so just nothing happens, or a 19-20, it actually falls in level. Wade my way through some of these people.
Okay, where is this thing anyway? It's Dorianis Institute. So I need to go... Okay, upper right, and then as left as I can go. Head left. I don't know what else is in this temple. I ha was not paying any attention to that. Table of sacrifice. That's only useful for like. I think that's only useful for very specific things. I don't think that's just corruption. That's just a normal sacrificial chamber. I don't think that actually benefits. Okay, and I think I go up from here, and then I'll be in the Doriani's Institute. Does anyone know anything? Know if uh, there's like a god of luck in the Path of Exile universe? Preferably one I haven't already murdered. Because they probably aren't going to like me if I've already killed them. Just, just a thought. <laughs> we must have someone to pray to. Adaka? Oh, oh my god! The, uh... <laughs> the totem! The totem dude! I absolutely would not... I've known to look for that. <laughs> Thank you. What does Kadaka actually look like then if that's Kadoku? Well, I'm wondering. Okay. Uh. Well, I'll take these with. Me. As we'll grab these. Two. Wait, what? There. Grab these two. Okay. Well, I don't have the room. Lots of gems. Grab all the gems. Yeah. Oh.
Nope. I can just grab all the gems. Okay, and right here. Nothing crazy good, but that's okay. Because this... Ooh. This is it. So let's make sure we actually do it on the right gem. And not some random one. So we have our Divergent Spark here. Take a quick... Little picture. Oh god, I'm so fucking nervous. Quick, I'll check the. I'm gonna check this drop. Okay. Thank you for voting. <laughs> they added Daka to the game because people would treat Kaduku as an omen of luck for hitting. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Please, please, please become something good. I really, really like money. <laughs> Boom. A divergent vol spark. Oh, what that's worth. Oh no! <laughs> it's worth twenty ca chaos. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's worthless. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the options are either 20 chaos or 20 div. Oh no. Ah. My vault my my good spark was not meant to be. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, well, we had to try, because no matter what, we can still dream at the end of the day. Well, moving on. What else is in this temple? <laughs> right to GGG and ask them to revert. <laughs> nah. Now, the... It might sound weird, but, like, kind of the fun of this type of shit is that it can go wrong. You can just get it reversed, and, like, what the fuck, what's the fuck is the point of gambling? I mean, I'm sad, but, like, I don't know. I think it's the fun of the game, is that uh, things don't always go the way you want. Important to, the more to think on the bright side, because, like... Just because that one didn't work doesn't mean the next uh, gamble won't. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you had fun too watching. I'll probably put that as a clip up on YouTube. <laughs> it's a very disappointing moment. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my poor spark gem. Oh, I'm glad. I I like being able to make people happy and like make cool stuff for people. It's always it just makes me really happy on my own. I mean that's why I stream. Oh, that's two comma. Okay, that did not harm me as much as I thought it would. Yeah, I, I like to stream because because of the fact that like you can make people happy. I feel like that's like the most rewarding thing you can do. Be able to bring smiles to other people. Maybe that's just me. Oh. Let's see charts. Yay! Another chamber. And tier fourteen. Awesome. Tier 14 is like the cutoff for when I can't for the um uh the boss uh boss drops like with the conqueror maps the uh elder and shaper guardian maps and oh it's tier 11 for the synthesis maps okay cool what uh, what is still is left here 
Okay, we can go through the treasury and then we get to the apex. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get something fun out of the out of the uh, Omnitech. Omnitech, or whatever the fuck that thing is. The the Martian spaceship. Yeah. No zappy. No zappy zap. No. Yeah, vol orbs. Yeah. I'm very happy that at least I'm not affected by any of the uh, the uh, resistance dropping curses because I ha I've taken that uh, that ma that protection mastery. It's like one of the best protection masteries out there. The uh, this one. Uh, your elemental resistance can't be lowered by curses. And saboteurs are immune to night and shock, so really, none of the uh, none of the uh, resistance lowering things really do anything to me. Okay. I did not expect the Omnitech to even do damage to me. Uh, wait, does what do, what does, does what include map mods? I've already forgotten what we're talking about. <laughs> as soon as I got killed by the Omnitech, it just, like, blanked everything in my mind. Just, because I just was not expecting that to happen. I'll just do this. Kill everything near it. Uh, does that include map mods? Yes, it does. So, like, I usually will pick the uh, elemental weakness map mods specifically because they're they give like good rarity and quantity, and they do nothing to me. Elemental weakness, flammability, uh, frostbite, and conductivity. Okay, that is... Yeah. Okay, 12% spell damage, 17%. Not bad. I'll put that up for a second. Then there's hatred. Not really worth much. What should I do with you, Diversion Spark? You know what? I'm not going to even sell it. I'm just going to keep a hold on to it now, because it'll now just be something that I'll, I'll, I'll leave it in my... Uh, I'll let it go to standard mode, and it will just like live in my stash as, as a memory. Memory of things that have been tried, even though they didn't succeed. Memory of the fun we had. A big tab for the... Oh, there is. I just have something in there. Okay. Anger worth it? Either of these are worth anything. Uh, Five Chaos. Let's see. Maybe someone will be like, Hey, I really want this specific thing from this specific person. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I have a bunch of trash to sort in my inventory now. Okay. I got some inventory sorting to do, and I've been streaming for almost two and a half hours now. Thank you all for watching. I will be live again on next Tuesday. 
Uh, I am hoping eventually to increase the number of streams I do a week. Uh, currently, I do Tuesday and Thursday. For now, that's probably where I'm going to keep it at, but like, I do want to ideally increase that. Okay. To everyone who is here and has been here, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. It's always really nice to have other people around and be able to stream. It's, it makes the game a lot funner for me, no matter what game it is. So thank you. Have a good night, everyone. And you, Maestro Chan, thank you.